Now, 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 you already know what time it is. It is time for the mess, so let's get into it. What's going on, you guys? This be your boy, Scott About Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, you guys. Yes, we're here for another quick video of Yes for the Mess. I know you guys been waiting on the video all day. You know, I normally be putting out videos, you know, during lunchtime and things of that nature, but you know, I got, you know, last night I went live and stuff like that, and you know, I'm here now, okay? So, um, that's pretty much it. But before we get into today's mess, because we're only talking about one topic on this particular video, let's talk about what we got coming up tomorrow, okay? Because tomorrow is Saturday. So tomorrow is Young, Fresh, and New on Saturday morning, tomorrow morning at 11.15 Central Time. And it will be featuring Shay Renee online. And we'll be talking about her as an up-and-coming content creator, as well as her, um, you know, what she, uh, as well as her platform and what she intends on doing with her platform. So be on the lookout for that um, on Saturday. Saturday night is boys' night out, okay? And it will be airing at 9.15 Eastern time. Be on the lookout as Jamar, giving you the real tea, Maddie Rants, Scotty by Nature TV, and Josiah's World TV talks about the tea, play some fun, shady games, and have some great and real-life conversations. So be on the lookout for that. And on Sunday, it's Who Was Wrong featuring Simply Sakina. As Sakina and I talk about the beef between Kenya Moore and Phaedra Park. So be on the lookout for that, you guys. So with that being said, that's all we got coming up on the platform. So now, let's get into the mess, honey, okay? So... Today's mess, it involves Real Housewives of Potomac stars, Wendy Osefo and Mia um, Thornton, okay? Yes, as we already know, these two have been going at it all season long. You know, Mia, there's no love lost between Mia and um, Mia and Wendy at all. But at this particular point, as you know, they already been beefing. But now Wendy's mama then got involved in this beef, okay? Then her and Mia have had a whole social media war. And baby, looks to me like Mia Thorne is getting her ass drug all over the place. There's a YouTuber by the name of Tita Tox. I've always known about her. I think um, I first heard about her because I think she was in a beef sector on YouTube or something like that. And I've heard of her before, but I did not know that she had ties to the girls on the Housewives of Potomac. Her sister is Jacqueline Blake, who is um, the best friend or former best friend at this point of Mia Thorne. She's been all on social media just dragging her for filth. I ain't did not one video about it yet, but I think I probably am, honey, because that's a lot of tea. Okay, a lot of it. So right about now, we're going to go ahead and get into this right here, because like I said, Miss Wendy, um, her mama came for Mia's neck um, on social media. And who could blame her? She's talking about her daughter. So anyway, let's get into the mess, honey. So, you know, I'm going to read it to y'all just in case y'all can't, y'all can't see it. You know what I mean? Because it is kind of small. And this comes from the Peach Report, okay? So I don't know how the hell you pronounce Wendy mama name, but, you know, yeah, you got to bear with me, honey. But Mia's mama, I mean, not Mia, on um, Wendy. Wendy's mama said, well, well, well. Ugly inside and out, crater face Mia, a bombastic, ignorant, nonsensical, baseless, wannabe CEO troublemaker. You've bitten more than you can chew. You just messed with the wrong nausea, mama bear baby. And oh, yes, Mia, you assaulted my baby, Dr. Wendy. Hashtag RHOP. They sleep trouble, go wake them. I don't know how you pronounced it. Um, remember, he, she who fights and runs a runaway lives to fight another day. To hell with Mia and Peter. Oh, yes, I say the Holy Ghost fire on Mia and Peter and thunderous. Amen. And I was like, ooh, all righty then. Let's go to hell in. So then Mia responded with Nigeria. Yes, I can wave the flag because it's in my DNA. Mama, uh, Nawaya, you, however you pronounce that. But sis was too busy trying to defend. She never once took the time to find out we from the same land. So take your thunderous self on the Holy Ghost fire and repent. P.S. My family knows your family. So TikTok, mama, we don't receive threats kindly. So Wendy's mama responded to, apparently you do know. Apparently, you do know, understand the definition of a threat, uneducated, classless, 
crater face. You should be worried about physically assaulting my daughter and issue a genuine apology. As I mentioned on my earlier post, the prosecution is watching. You should shut up and genuinely apologize. You have a mouth and you should use it and not physically attack my daughter. Free speech, Mia. Who do you think you are assaulting my daughter? Your action was seen all over the world. Holy Ghost fire on you and Peter. Rubbish. She, she, uh, she continues to go on and on, y'all. Rubbish. You're a disgrace to whatever you stand for. Make thunder. I can't pronounce that. You should shut up and start apologizing. I work so hard to raise my children, and when anyone brings harm to them, you, you have me to contend with. You can wave a Nigerian flag all you want. You are not a Nigerian. You do not represent us, okay? So then um, she could... Damn, I didn't realize she was going on and on for that long period of time. <laughs> but she said, with your stupidity, public disgrace, lack of home training, I wonder what you teach your children. You pride yourself in being a wayward woman. What a shame. CEO, my foot. Make thunder fire you, Peter, or and whatever else you stand for. If my daughter... Mouth off on you, mouth off back, no physical attack. Don't mess with my daughter. She has come a long way to be what she is today. Classy, highly educated, gorgeous, even without makeup. You think you are Mia Mayweather, right? So TikTok to hell. Look at your written English. You can't even write good grammar. Shame on you. You don't even know what the flag means. So put your filthy hands down. Nonsensical, non-entity, ignorant, babe. Oh, child, when did mama call herself going in on Mia, child? But she ain't really call herself doing shit. She actually did go in on Mia. So let me look at some of the comments in the comment section. Not child holding that woman accountable for defending her daughter. What? So what if Wendy's grown? You can't police any mother on how to feel about their child, regardless of their age. Plus, she's from a different culture. In um, some cultures, you cannot outgrow parents. Wendy has a mom that loves her enough to come to her defense. I agree with that. My mama don't give a fuck how old I am. She will come for you when it comes down to it. Okay? She will come for you. She don't give a damn if I'm 43. She coming. House of Aaron, my brother, he said, Wendy's mama won. Oh, my God. Let's see. Not crater face. And someone said, Real Housewives for time turned into love and hip hop. Then someone said, not, Now you think you me a Mayweather, baby, the way I just hollered. Okay? Well, 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 just when I thought Mama Joyce was no joke, Lord. Yes, I am glad someone got Mia's ass together. It's the even without makeup for me. Now, Mama, now she making her daughter look bad doing this on social media. You so concerned with your daughter's platforms and degrees, but you want social media doing this in the name of her. I'm sure there was a way I could have had a conversation over the phone. My thing about this is, see, I hate people like that. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get this off the screen. You cannot tell any mother how to react when it comes down to their child. Like straight up. At the end of the day, all she knows is that her daughter was physically assaulted by some crater-faced idiot who has nothing else to do with herself but to throw a drink because she don't know how to fight with her words. That's the point. She said that bullshit and that's just what it is, okay? She did that bullshit, threw a drink in her face, hit her with a pocketbook and all that. As someone... Who's pro who is a mother? I'm not a mother, but I'm speaking on Wendy's mama behalf. She's a mother. All she did, all she knows is that she watched some crater faced ass hoe throw a drink on her daughter and try to hit her daughter with a damn pocketbook. How do you how how the fuck else do you think she's supposed to react to that? I don't understand some of y'all, but y'all, some of y'all don't like Wendy and y'all hate her so much that y'all just can't own it or just really say. Mia was absolutely wrong for the way she tried to play that shit and the way she tried to do it. She was fucked up for that. I don't care how you try to slice it, dice it, or rub it the fuck down. Her ass was wrong for the way she did that shit. And that's just point blank, period. And at this particular point, I mean, you assaulted that woman, and it don't matter who come after your ass at this point. It don't matter who come after. You put your hands on her, and now it's a done deal. Everybody got your neck. They doing to you what you should have did to Winnie. And that's fight with your fucking words. But instead, you threw a drink on her for no damn reason. And you tried to throw in your husband as a way to make an excuse for why you made your poor decision. Mia, shut the fuck up. You've been a liability. You're a liar. And the only people that like you is those that's anti-Candace, anti-Winnie. Those are the only people that don't, that, that really like your ass. And they're foolish, too. 
they're foolish too. They was ready to go up for you when you threw that damn bowl of arugula and spinach at Candace last year without even knowing what the, what the business actually was, without even knowing what really happened with the situation. Didn't know what happened, but was ready to hop on the bandwagon, though. So at the end of the day, I just feel like this. It don't even matter what the fuck Wendy Mama said. I don't give a damn. She did exactly what one, what any mother would do when it come down to her child. She did whatever she what, it, what, what she needed to do when it came down to her damn child. It don't matter how old she is. Because like I said, I can't be sitting up here judging her mama. Because my mama probably would have done the same damn thing. You can't, She probably would have done it on social media. But she would have did it in your face. That's just the type of person my mama is. So I ain't mad at Wendy Mama. Fuck me up. I'm glad somebody getting her crater face and ass together. And I don't give a damn how how y'all get mad at me calling her crater face. I don't give a fuck. I said what the fuck I said. Anyway, with that being said, you guys, this be your boy, Scotty. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And also, if you want to be notified whenever a video drops, just click on the notification bell. Um, if you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down in the description box below. But if you want to follow me, or if you want me to follow you back on Instagram, just hit me up in the DMs with the hashtag message, Scotty Gang. And I will definitely follow you back. With that being said, you guys, your boys out of here until the next video. I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Bye-bye. What's up guys, it's your boy Tramel. I just wanted to say that I have a new project that's out. It's called Mixed Feelings. It's on all streaming platforms. I would hope that you would go and check it out. It's a really good feel of an album. It's got everything you need and more. It's got R&B, it's got a little bit of pop, it's got a little bit of hip hop. It's everything that you need and more. It's out, all streaming platforms, like I said. Please check me out and you can also follow me at i am underscore tramel that's i am underscore t-r-a-m-e-l check me out hope to hear from you